Hey, what's happening everybody? Dr. Tom Walters here from Rehab Science. I want to talk to you about a condition that a lot of you have probably heard of, super common, plantar fasciitis. So it's a condition where people get pain on the sole of the foot, usually somewhere in between the balls of the toes and the front of the heel. Uh, people often talk about having pain, you know, they might feel this when you first get out of bed in the morning, or if you've been sitting for long periods and you go to stand up, get this sharp kind of zinger pain in the bottom of the foot. We've got some new research, uh, some very simple strategies, uh, rehab strategies you can implement at home to help get rid of this type of pain. So follow along and I'll show those to you right now. So for the first exercise, we're going to look at a simple tennis ball massage. So you're just going to a tennis ball, a cross ball, whatever you've got at home. Again, that plantar fascia runs from the balls of the toes up to the front of the heel. So you're just going to take that ball and sort of just gently back and forth, kind of roll the bottom of the foot and that will help massage the plantar fascia. And we actually have four layers of muscles on the bottom of our foot, so it will help to reduce pain there and uh, relax those muscles a bit. So that's the first exercise of the four. Okay, so for the next two exercises, they're both gonna be stretches, and we're gonna use just a hand towel. Uh, if you've got one sitting around the house, you're gonna roll that up to create a, just a little bit of a roll, maybe an inch in diameter, and then you're gonna set that down and we want to, to stretch the plantar fascia, we want to put the towel roll so that our big toe is on the roll. And this puts our big toe into dorsiflexion or extension. So for the first stretch, which focuses on our soleus muscle and our calf, this lower muscle, we're going to bend our knee, step forward with the leg you're not working on, and dorsiflex the ankle. You're going to lean forward. So my big toe is lifted, my ankle is moving into dorsiflexion, my knee is bent. I'm going to hold there for 30 seconds and maybe try that two to four times to stretch the soleus muscle. Stretching the calf can help to ease symptoms uh, on, the, on, on the sole of the foot. So that's exercise number two. So for exercise three, another stretch, same setup as exercise number two, toe and dorsiflexion on the towel roll. I'm going to step forward with the leg that is uh, not painful. This time I'm going to do this, a very similar stretch, but my knee will be straight. So having my knee straight and my ankle in dorsiflexion and my big toe in dorsiflexion will tighten the plantar fascia and this time the gastric nemius muscle, which is the other muscle in my calf. This one, my knee has to be straight to target that muscle. So again, 20 to 30 second hold, two to four stretches, and that will help stretch the gastric nemius muscle and the, solia, or, and the plantar fascia. Okay, the last exercise is gonna be probably the most foreign to most people, and this is one that comes from some of these newer research studies. So the plantar fascia, it might be counterintuitive, but one of the ways to help get rid of this pain is actually to do some sort of strength training. We're gonna load the plantar fascia, and this will help build up its capacity. So again, I'm gonna put my toe up on this towel roll. So putting that big toe into dorsiflexion again makes this plantar fascia tighten up but that makes the exercises target that area. Now, I'm gonna hold on to something, so you can hold on to your arms, you don't have to balance here. I'm gonna raise the leg that's not painful, and then I'm just gonna do calf raises here. So, most people are familiar with calf raises, it's just that I'm changing it by putting my toe into dorsiflexion on this towel roll. And this will work the calf, but will also take some of that work that's being done in the calf raise and focus it on the plantar fascia. So what I wanna do is shoot for three sets, of 10 to 15 repetitions, and this again will help build up the capacity of that plantar fascia. It'll not only get rid of some of the pain, but also reduce your risk of having this problem in the future.